This young man makes a trip to his seemingly normal local pet shop, but he will soon find out it is anything but normal. Can I help you this evening? My grandmother just gave me a fish tank. Oh, so you need me to hook you up then. Before you introduce the fish to the tank, you're going to need to have it established first. No bacteria, there's nothing to break down the fish waste, so the fish usually die. With air stones being in the tank, it helps keep the waste and the byproducts stirred up. Oh, excuse me for one second, please. Could you help? My mom's dog ran away. She's been devastated. I need to get her another. Okay, cool. Follow me right this way and I can help you out. Now that we know our stuff, how about I show you some fish? Through here we have South American cichlids and most of our African cichlids. And then the greedy ones, the Oscars. Yeah, so these fish here on the bottom, you really have to watch what you match with those. They have really big mouths. Where did that so girl they, go? Uh, she left just a little while ago. Got a puppy and walked out. But the jingle. Huh? The, the door jingle, it makes that noise every time someone walks in or out. Oh, that old thing is shoddy. It only works about half the time if you're lucky. Oh, busy day. Give me one second, please. Yesterday died. Can I get a refund? Oh, yeah, definitely. Follow me right this way. Do you have a restroom I can use? Yes, yeah, certainly. It's right down the hallway. Right. <sighs> Pull it together, Brandon. Nosy little bugger, aren't you? I was um just on my way back from the bathroom and I got lost. Really? Is that what happened? Yep. In fact, um, I have to leave now. You're because... not going anywhere. Please, man, just let me go. I, I don't even know what this thing does. How about you hop into the machine and I'll show you what it does. <laughs> Please. Go on. Hop in. See, I created this machine years ago because I got tired of customers talking about their pets dying or running away. So I've made this machine to put the people in the shoes of their pets so that they'll know what it's like to be neglected. Please, you don't have to do this. Oh, but I do. You know too much, so now I have to shut you up. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Thank you. 
On this day, the young man learned never go to the little pet shop of horrors, but it's not all bad. He was later adopted by a loving family. Good night.